Thank, thank you, Danielle, for introducing me for this presentation. Uh, my name is Nadine Mulinda Havi, and uh, I work for Dialogue McGill. And uh, I know I have uh, interacted with some of you over the cup past couple of weeks in the preparation of this symposium. So as Daniel said in this morning, it's a good to put uh, a face on a name. <laughs> um, so I'll be presenting the Arog Magi Digital Library, a project that uh, we've discussed with community networks um, for some time now. And I'll be giving the status of where this, the project is now and how we, what we can do all to contribute uh, to make the project a success. Um, this, these are the few topics I wanted to, to, to abort today. The background, objective and goals, category of digital materials we are talking about, the content management system, um, the platform uh, the library is built on, um, the features, access, role, and if we have time, a, a demo, and the next step. So. There have been a couple of initiatives by community network groups in regards to collecting the materials that we produce through, our, through the funding of the Dialogue Magill projects. Um, uh, ARC, a community network, uh, had initially started um, sharing document um, on a Google Drive, and I think they had invited uh, some other community network groups to do so as well. Back in 2015, uh, we had a Golden Share conference, and um, community networks showed interest into having a common platform where they can share these materials. There was a discussion of creating a database of material that will be made available um, and accessible to everyone. Uh, there was a question, how do we collect these materials? How do we uh, incorporate the ones that are already available on the good Google Drive that you are sharing? And how do we translate our documents so that they are available in both English, English and French languages? Um, so in 2016, we adopted uh, a content manager system um, to host uh, our library within McGill. We proposed a solution initially to two community networks uh, that, were that will be a champion for this initiative. And I believe uh, Catherine Quast and uh, Rachel were uh, came to our office. We did a little bit of a demo of the, of the platform we had implemented with my former colleague, and the response was really positive. They could see themselves using, um, uh, using the library, uploading content, and, uh, and adapting it. Um, initially, we, had called it, called a we called it a repository of project materials, but they didn't like that name so much. So um, I think we thank them so much for guiding us, and we, we came up with the digital library uh, name for the project. And through our project, now it's Dialogue, Dialogue McGill Digital Library. Unfortunately, uh, the system we had proposed, um, it was a system within McGill, lost to vendor support uh, in 2016, just as we were ready to launch it. So, um, so we didn't launch it, we didn't let you know all of you about it because um, McGill decided to, to go through another vendor and to migrate all the content, all the, space, all the spaces that were in, on the previous platform. And that was done between March and December of last year. Our own space, our own content that were already upload, uh, uploaded on, on the system was um, migrated just in November. So November, December, we were able to customize it again for our need, and that's the, that's the content manager system I will be presenting to you today. So the objective of this project um, is to really assist our partner in the task of developing promotional and informational materials by making materials already produced accessible at a glance. We also want to create a collaborative space and encourage sharing of resources among our partners. Um, coming, um, for the coming new phase, we want to reduce the level of funding allocated to developing these promotional and informational materials so that that money can be used um, 
to fund add a new project, add a special project, uh, to fund really add activities because we would have a collection of available materials and uh, info, um, promotional tools that you could adapt into creating new ones. <coughs> we see ourselves also starting a discussion among our partners ab about the work being done. It's really a good collection of, of the work that you do. Uh, just put together into a plat into a collection of, <coughs> of of just put together and to to really showcase what the community networks are doing, and for us at the project uh, dialogue McGill, we see this as a way to concretize the out the outcome of the funding results. We get to report to Health Canada about um, the funding of our project and. Um, having this library is really a collection of all these materials that were produced throughout the phase, and we can report uh, to Health Canada having um, something concrete to show them. <clears throat> so what materials are we talking about? These are materials produced in the course of your funded project, and they are promotional and informational materials. So we're able to categorize them into um, groups. Um, so there are bursary program related um, promotional materials uh, for the community uh, leadership bursary program. You get to advertise this program to attract students to apply for bursaries um, through Dialogue McGill. You also have internships, welcome materials where you are welcoming interns into your region or into your community network. Um, they are materials related to, co to, to community profiles. You are creating profiles for your, for your community networks. A lot of materials we get and we receive and that you produce are related to healthcare professions. Um, there are newsletters that you produce. As within Dialogue McGill, we are also sharing the materials, the, 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 the um, the promotional materials that, that we produce so that it is available to you um, to use. So this is an example of the poster, a pamphlet, I think from Connections on career and mental health. Um, as the project we are discussing before, this is a club, the conversation an angle between MCDC and this use the Shadiera Palace. And, just to advertise these sessions of, um, of those who want to speak English. Um, and this the health caravan project between John Abbott and, and Four Corners. So this is a, a way to le really represent your project, get the word out there, uh, you know, for the third year uh, John Abbott students studying in health and social services fields going and um, providing health services. So these are the type of materials we are collecting. Most of the time you submitted these materials to us hand copy, but now we have a library where you can um, put them. <laughs> so the Dialog Magi Digital Library is a collection of digital objects and resources produced by community networks and within the training and rotation program. The library hosts uh, information and promotional material in different, in different formats, including text, image, and other type of documents. Um, it's maintained on a content management system hosted by McGill University, and it supports major functions such as long-time organization of information, uh, information retrieval, uh, advanced search functions, import and exports of document. Um, it's also going to be a tool for collaboration. We really want to 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 get you to collaborate. Um, um, uh, back in 2015, um, I think for the Golden Share uh, funding of special projects, I think there were two or three community networks that submitted a project together. So when you are brainstorming uh, about that particular project, if you want to work on a document together, I think this is a platform where you can create and brainstorm and work on document together and, and submit it for funding. So um, it has great features. You can easily import and ex export electronic documents, files, and folders. 
Um, you can personalize workspaces the way you see your library with what we call widgets. Um, basically, your, your most favorite file you want to see, your last viewed, um, the last checked in, checked out uh, files have a preview mode. It has uh, an advanced search capabilities that we see on the next slide. It has a comment section. So if, if somebody uploads, um, uploads um, a file, you can easily go in and comment and start a discussion about maybe how they, they design that pamphlet, how they, if they, they could maybe share um, um, an editable file that you can get started with, or really pro start a discussion um, with, with each other as we upload this co these uh, documents. We can also create a hyperlink for a file and refer to it in an email conversation. Let's say you are discussing, you want to send a file to somebody, you just create a hyperlink through the library of that document and send a hyperlink to, some, to, 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 to your colleague to another community network. Um, and this is an easy way instead of downloading a document and then save it on your computer and then write your email, go search for it, you know. But these are future we will see later when we do um, a little bit of training about this, this uh, tool. <clears throat> so the advanced search function, that's why it, I, we recommended it really for our library, is because it gives us um, a search tool, uh, a search function that is really advanced that we can use um, as the library grows and we all put in document, there are going to be a lot of documents, so searching is going to be a key uh, to, make, to make it um, uh, something useful. So you can search a document if you know the file name or the resource name, you just type it and you can search for it. But if you don't know the resource name exactly, the library allow us to search by either by author, by subject, by keyword, as we assign a keyword to each file we upload, we upload, by year, by date. So these are the other ways the library allow us to search for, 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 for documents as the library grows bigger and bigger. And it has also a feature that you can save your search query for future use if you want to search again in the future. <coughs> okay. So these are, so it is based on a D2 platform, um, a content management system uh, that allows to easily upload, store, retrieve, and, and, uh, and electronic resources. We and you as community networks, you can have access and upload yourself these documents. You don't have to pass through us to, to upload this document. That's why it's really, a great tool for us to, 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 to use. It has collaboration features um, with small or large groups. As I said before, if you want to work on a document together, this is a place you can do it. And you can, you, we can manage access to document based on user roles. I, I, I will talk about this later. So it's hosted at McGill, so it's available 24 seven. You have a great support from McGill IT on this system and it is supported on all browsers, Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, you know, it's, it, it's supported. So for the user role, and I think I, I, uh, I contacted you, I think around November, December, in regards to these two roles that you're going to have a community networks. So they're going to be somebody who is a contributor to the library and who has a computer raw uh, access. So this person can upload content, can delete content, can modify documents, can comment, basically has all the rights to, 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 to the digital library. Whereas the consumer is going to be a read-only access. So we, it's important that we clearly define these roles because we don't want everybody to be a contributor because uh, we just, we just want to make sure there's at least one person responsible within the community network. 
to say if you uploaded the wrong file, you, you are able to delete it and upload a new one, things like that. And you want to make sure that you don't go in and delete maybe somebody else's file. So that's why we have to clearly define these roles. Um, if you remember very well, uh, I had sent you um, this particular form so that you define this role within your community networks, who is going to be a contributor, who is going to be um, a consumer. Uh, and um, with this form, I got a couple of response. I still am waiting for, for some community networks to send us um, the person they assigned for this role so they can go ahead and then authenticate you to the system and assign you these roles to, to access the library. Um, I know some people had difficulties filling up the form, so just let me know after the presentation, then we can uh, uh, see how we get, you get this information to us. Um, so how do I log in? How do I have access? Um, uh, first of all, I wanted to say that uh, at Dialogue McGill Digital, at, at Dialogue McGill, we are in the process of revamping our um, website, and we started with our um, um, our URL. So our URL has changed from um, McGill.hss access to now McGill.ca slash Dialogue McGill. So if you have links um, on your website, linking to our website, um, we had announced it in the uh, Dialogue McGill newsletter, please go ahead and change your link to our new link because now it might be not working if you haven't changed it yet. So you go to our website, dialoguemagil.ca, Dialogue McGill, and under the resources menu, um, okay. under the resources menu here, we have resources for um, internship supervisors, and then we have resources for our partners. Um, so that's where you find the Dialogue McGill Digital Library, and then you scroll at the bottom, you have um, a link that gives you access. So, okay, so we have, um, I wanted to do a little bit of a demo, I don't know if we have time, one minute, two minutes, yeah. Um, just to show you what we have so far. Um, so the, 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 the materials are really categorized into um, the groups. Um, um, as I mentioned before, and these are some of the materials that we've been able to collect. Uh, I think uh, back in November, um, as we were asking you to nominate somebody who is going to be a contributor and a consumer, we ask you also to, to give to us the materials that you produced uh, over the past, in the 16, 17 uh, period. Um, so those ones, we have been able to upload them just to show you how it looks like. These are a couple of materials that we've been able to collect, uh, the ones you submitted to us for the 16, 17 year. I think this is four corners for the bursary program, connection, um, just informing students about the bursary program uh, at McGill and how they can apply and what is the amount. Um, I think this is a, the French version. <coughs> um, this is, I think, for MCDC. We really have uh, collected a, a couple of uh, pamphlets. Uh, for the digital library. This is, I think, for CASA. Um, healthcare, healthcare, um, health career uh, information. Connection again. We have um, MCDC. Um, and project related documents, language and health. Um, see this, the, I got the, the, the project with MCDC and uh, Shadia Parash. 
um, for the pamphlet on, on this particular project. Um, yeah, and newsletter reports, really so many documents that you can have access to. Um, so when you get access, you can go in and, uh, and, 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 and have a look. So the tool is easy to use. You can easily create a new document. You need to be at the folder level to create a document, new item, you create a new document or import, you, ex you import an existing new document, make sure you are at the right folder level. We will discuss with you how we created these folders and, and the, if need be to create more. Um, this is the comment section, like if you want to provide a comment or to leave a comment, maybe to Casa, to, or to, 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 to these four corners. And this is the version, yeah, the version, like if you created a new file, a new document you, you are working together on, you can create a different versions of it, and the person who created it can go back and, 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 um, and and choose the version of the final document or maybe go back to the initial version. So there's a, a, still a lot to do. We are going to do a training on this, on, on this um, um, platform, but it's really easy to use. You just import a document, just make sure it is at the appropriate location. Um, just my last slide. Um, okay. The last slide is where do we go from here, basically our next step. So, so there's an authentication process uh, that we're going to do so that you can have access. So to access the library, you need the user login and password. And you, uh, in the coming uh, few weeks, uh, I think I will work with each community networks. So we'll get uh, an email from McGill um, asking you to, um, um, notifying you to, 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 to get your credentials uh, for, for the, the platform. So you have to create your own pa um, password. Uh, there's, there's going to be a password provided to you, but that's going to last, I think, eight or seven, eight or nine hours. I'll, I'll be clear with that in the coming few weeks, and then you get in and uh, you change your password, so that's the password you are going to use with your username and password. So those who have not provided me with the names of who's going to be accessing the, the library and with, with what roles, please do, do so. Um, we are also finalizing the, the user guide. We're going to have a simple, easy user guide for you to use as we access this platform. Uh, we, we will do a training through a webinar um, and guide you on how to use the platform, but it's really intuitive, it's really easy to use. We have to upload additional resources we have. There are still available print materials we need to digitize because we received them in the print form maybe in the past years, in 2014, 2015. Uh, so we still have to do that. and. Also see what, if there are other materials that are seen on the Google Drive somewhere, that could be made available to this library. And we see um, the reporting of 17, 18, sometimes in April or May, that you will be able to access the library and upload um, the information and material produced in 17, 18, and then we will continue with the continued monitoring, support you, and really uh, reinforce how we upload this content and um, the standards we, we, we set. So this is what I have uh, for the digital library. I thank you very much, and uh, thank you. Um. So we may have time for maybe one or two questions. We're running a little bit behind uh, schedule, uh, uh, but if, if anybody would like to ask a question, please go to one of the mics. You can also, I guess, find uh, Nadine uh, at lunch uh, and ask her questions 
uh, that way. It's been a long morning, so perhaps uh, that might be the best the best, best solution to go to, yes, yes, to, yes. To, to lunch. So thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> oh, there is a question. There is a question. Okay. Hi. I'm, is this on? Yeah. Hi, I'm Carol from Ecole and Yes. Um, I think it's wonderful, this site. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be a good tool for all of us to be able to share different um, productions. Mm -hmm. I noticed that in the health section, uh, Online, we I had sub submitted this uh, careers booklet, yes. and you didn't click on it, and I wanted to see what it looked like. Um, if is that all possible? I haven't seen it online yet, so it's it's a 33-page document. Yes, so um, you can go illustrating uh, yes. about 50 careers most in demand in uh, in the region, mm -hmm. and we're also selling Lanaudia, was where I moved to about eight years ago. I love it. Mm -hmm. um, so, well, I'm really happy uh, our work is up there, mm -hmm. so it's going to be exciting. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.